happening? All right. Getting ready to go to the gig. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, this is our bus here. This is uh, Alpino and I are rolling on the road with John. I wouldn't say all the comforts of home, but pretty good. And uh, we have our television and our beds. This is my bunk here. My, uh, we have our bathroom and our kitchen. And we have the best driver in the world. <laughs> And that's about it, you know, we're safe, we're good. We're in good, we're in good shape. Yes, sir. So, give me a little behind the scenes here of like uh, Steve's. You, like Steve's one of those guys that has like he, he keeps you busy. Like you got like every other song. How many songs do you have to change a, song, a snare drum on? I'd say every song. Yeah. So, give us a little rundown of what you got here. Well. It's very interesting being at uh, TD Garden right now. Now, it used to be called the Fleet Center the last time I was here. And I have three distinct memories of being at the Fleet Center. The first memory, which is probably the biggest, I guess, highlight of my career thus far, aside from playing with James Brown, on the Letterman Show in 1982, was I was the musical director for the Democratic National Convention in 2004 here at the Fleet Center. And I got to play the future president of the United States, Barack Obama, up to the stage to, to, uh, to deliver the keynote address. And uh, we played him up to Curtis Mayfield's Keep On Pushing. It was an amazing, amazing uh, event, to say the least. The second one is, I did a concert called Music To My Ears. It was a tribute to the, the late Timothy White. Now, Timothy White, he was a great journalist. He wrote for Rolling Stone. He was an editor at Crawdaddy Daddy back in the day, and his best friend, Mitch Glazer. They worked, well, they worked together at Crawdaddy. Daddy. And and Tim became editor-in-chief of Billboard magazine. He died, he had an untimely death, he had a heart attack at a young age, he died. He left two children, a wife, and uh, so we all band together and did two fundraisers, one at Madison Square Garden 
and one at the Fleet Center. Each show had this incredible all-star lineup. And the Fleet Center, we had Mellencamp, James Taylor, Cheryl Crow, and we had Billy Joel. And we played in a, a rendition of Only the Good Die Young here that I thought the, the stage was going to go into orbit. It was unbelievable, and the crowd, and he was so into it, and the band was in lockdown mode. And I felt like we were about to just, the whole building was gonna take off. It was unbelievable. And that was an incredible film that I will never forget, playing that with him. And then the third, last but not least, was the last time I think I saw Vic Firth. I got him passes to come see, I think it was Clapton. Yeah, he came to see Clapton, and um, he was cool. He came rolling in to the sound check. He's Vic Firth. He's like so cool. And he's hey Steve, how you doing? And he was just so freaking cool, and he was having a great time, and uh, he enjoyed himself. And it was just great to see him smile. And he cracked a couple of great jokes, of course, and. Such life, such, you know, and I was just looking at him like, you are the man, you know.